Hey, you guys. So I'm back with another message. I'm going to try to sit here and record some messages while I got some downtime. Um, but this particular message um, is a testimony, kind of. But um, I just want to let you guys know that God is doing supernatural healing in this season, in this hour. And y'all, it's dragonflies flying around my car. <laughs> but God is doing supernatural healing healing in this season in this hour for his children um you guys we got to understand that health is wealth it is very very expensive for someone to be sick and have to go back and forth to the doctor all right and so health is wealth and i know in a previous video i told you guys that god is restoring um back to his children with the caterpillar the canker worm the locust took from his children and that includes their health god can be a restorer of your health and he is restoring a lot of god's children's health went to the doctor a few weeks ago um got a good report um basically about some things that um you know i encounter <laughs> um with my health but it's improving now like and things and i was just so surprised because it was um, my health is improving and a lot of y'all guys um, health you will realize are improving um, especially if God has called you to a season of isolation and calls you to, for, to a season where he told you the same instructions that he gave Aaron come out from among them be separated and God might have called you in this season in this hour to be separated um, and during a time of isolation that God took you through isolation, it was so he can do the work through you, um, to do some things to you and through you. Right. And so, um, you know, we had to go through elevation. We had to go through, sorry, y'all. We had to go through isolation before elevation. Right. Um, and God has to remove people, places and things that don't serve you. And since you had went through that process, y'all, y'all will realize, or y'all will start to notice that y'all, um, are healing in areas that you might thought you will not receive healing in whether it is your um mental health whether it's your actual physical body where you was having issues god is going to heal and he's going to restore your body health is wealth all right i know we pay pray for um wealth but that's also a part of being wealthy y'all is having good health okay and I was asking God, I was like, God, you know, I was telling God, thank you. But I was asking God, I was like, okay, God, what, you know, I wasn't expecting this. I wasn't expecting to get healed in this way. Um, And God told me, he was just like, you never, when I removed you from all of those people that you were around, um, You came out of stress and you went into a place of peace. And y'all, when we come out of stress and we come out of we come out of stressfulness and we come into a place of peace, and we get to the point to where where are we have we found peace in God, where we're eating healthy, where we're sleep we're sleeping sleeping right, um, we're drinking our water, um, taking our vitamins, things of that nature. Um, our body begins to heal and restore itself. And that's why I try to tell you guys to not to not get upset about the isolation process because God is trying to do something to through you and to you. And and God was letting me know because I removed you out of those stressful situations. Now your body got a chance to heal like it should. When we are in stressful and toxic situations, y'all, where it's causing our body to be be stressed out. It can lead to underlying issues and with as far as your health, like sicknesses and things of that nature. And so um, and that is a spiritual warfare battle. And that's a silent battle that a lot of people don't see because you don't see something physically attacking your body. You don't see the stress physically attacking your body, but you can feel it uh, physically attacking your body at times. And uh, when we are stressed out our body release unhealthy chemicals within our body that can cause us to get sick, that can cause us to have get cancer and things of that nature. And it can cause our body to get out of alignment. So 
God is saying supernatural healing in this time. He had to remove you from the people, places and things that didn't serve you so your body can heal, so your body can restore itself. I try to tell people um, whenever they get sick or whatever, like I, I, I tell them rest. Your body restores itself through rest. Are you getting the proper amount of rest? Are you eating right? Um, are you not being stressed out? Because if you rest, like do something to relax and rest, let your body rest. Um, and also too, when you're going through this supernatural healing or the supernatural healing that God is about to give to a lot of his children, you will begin to learn and know your body more and notice things about your body more. And it also ties with um, being sensitive in the spirit. I know I talked about being sensitive in the spirit before. Um, but God is getting ready to do supernatural healing in his season in his tower for his children. Get ready to go to the doctors and stuff, y'all, and things that y'all might have been dealing with like for a while, for years. You're starting to see improvements because you're no longer in those toxic situations. You're no longer in those stressful situations that are um, wearing, putting a wear and tear on your body. Right. Even with and the enemy knows this and the people that God uses knows this. That's why some people try to come to you and bring you their stresses, their stressors and their problems to you and just dump it on you. And they go on about their business. And um, while you are trying to find a solution for them, or you're stressing about a solution for them. They're sleeping well at night. And in this season, God is saying that everybody must bury their own cross. God reminded me yesterday, he was like, pick up your cross and follow me, meaning everybody got to bear their own cross because that's what Jesus told his disciples. Pick up your cross and follow me. So you have to bear your own cross. You're not supposed to bear your cross and someone else's cross in this season. Right. Um, and a lot of people know that if they can bring you their stress, if they can put everything and dump everything on you. Um how that will attack your body. That's another trick of the enemy, y'all. Okay, and I know we've been going through the series of a tr the trick of the enemy, but um, God just want me to let, he let you guys know that he is doing supernatural healing in this season, in this hour for his children, all right? Um, thank God about it. Testify about it. Um, spread the good news. Share it with somebody that you know it will bless, okay? Um, because I will say this. Everybody don't deserve to hear um, your testimony sometimes because some people are not going to believe it. But tell it to the believers. Tell it to the ones that you know it will change and it will touch um, their lives. OK, so I love you. I pray that you all have an amazing day. Get ready for supernatural healing and I will chat with you all later.